back, back. New I pack in the air, guess what? Can't still be a laugh right now if you niggas ain't gas them up. Get my shorty statements and guns, I tell them slap for nothing. Everybody with this gang gang shit, so. What is up, y'all? And I am back to the back. So back at it again with another video schmidio video. As y'all know, I honestly just want to get straight into this video because for the longest time, I felt the urge to make this video, to put this out there to the public because I know a lot of us are going through some stuff right now. A lot of us are fighting some hidden battles and some very personal battles. And I just want to be here to uplift your spirits and give you hope and give you faith. I truly hope that whoever really needs to hear this word can receive it and really take time to reflect on it because I feel like God is working through me miracles and breakthroughs to help y'all to ease y'all pain and just to be proof to y'all that storms never last forever. Today's word I'm going to be focusing on is fear not. Fear is something that has been overtaking a lot of our lives especially in times like these. I want to stress how important not fearing is in the spiritual realm let's just start with fear is not a feeling sent by god 365 times in the bible it says fear not so we understand that fear is not a feeling sent from god fear is the devil's way of binding us of making us afraid to take that next step that will put us into our new season a season of blessings a season of reaching your goals and, and a season of achievement the devil wants to see you stuck in the same season for long periods of time because he knows your promises he knows how capable you are of accomplishing amazing things and if he could just bind your mind in fear if he could just hold you back in fear that's stopping you from accomplishing those great things i'm going to tell you three good reasons on why you should never let fear affect your life one fear not because your prayers have been answered two fear not because you have the favor of god in your life this is so important to know because god is so powerful and god is just not in you but he is also for you his word says if god is for us who can be against us this is proof that when you have god's grace and favor over your life that any fear that tries to overtake your destiny is straight from the devil when we have god on our side we are more than conquerors and we are capable to accomplish anything that comes in our path regardless of the hurdles we have to overcome and to break the bondage of fear we have to strengthen our relationship with god we have to be eager to seek his word to understand him to learn more about him because once we do that we'll realize how great God is you'll know that God is greater than any depression you're going through God is greater than any sickness or disease in the world right now God is greater than any brokenness in your family God has so much power and God is a merciful God so if you get down on your knees and you turn from your sin God will throw that sin into the sea of forgiveness. God is not someone to hold grudges, which is why as people, we should be so forgiving because we need all the forgiveness we can get. And if we reap what we sow, we will receive forgiveness as we give forgiveness. So once we strengthen our relationship with God, we'll be able to magnify him. We can make God bigger than all our problems because as I said, God is bigger than any problem you're going through right now. He has the power and the capability to deliver you from that bond and deliver you from that dark place and if you have faith and if you hold on to him and if you seek him and seek his face he will deliver you god has not given you a spirit of fear god has given you a spirit of power love and a sound mind so utilize the power god has given you know that you are powerful know that you are an overcomer and know that anything in your path is nothing compared to the power of god God can work miracles in your life. But if you do not build a relationship with him, if you do not seek his word, and want to learn about him and all his greatness, then that relationship will never be established. God is not a genie in a bottle. God is not someone you only turn to when you need something. When you have a burning desire to learn more about God and get closer to him, that's when he's going to put the plans in place that he has for you. God already knows your destiny. He already knows your promises. So if we can have that supernatural faith that will carry us through our days that we know no matter what, God's got my back. God's gonna bring me through this like he's brought me through everything else. Every depression, every heartbreak, every feeling of anxiety, every feeling of a worry, of hate, of resentment, of a grudge is not a feeling of God. Turn from those ways. We're living in a time right now where it is so 
crucial. You have to get closer to God. You have to seek God's face because if you don't, you will be overwhelmed by the wickedness of the world. Seek God, feel his mercy, feel his love, feel his forgivingness. God forgives all. Don't think, oh, I'm such a bad person. I, I can never stand in the face of God because this is your only time to before it's too late. Before you're wishing that you have the opportunity that you have right now, don't take it for granted, y'all. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to open your eyes to see how God is reaching his hand out right now, waiting for you to call on him. This is a very important time, y'all. We're at a crossroad right now. And if we don't choose God, we will not have everlasting life. This is very important and very crucial, and I want to make it known to everybody. God is the only one who will mend that hurt you got inside, mend that pain that's so deep. No man can carry that, only the touch and the love of Jesus Christ. I hope you can reflect on these words. Hear how important this is to me. Feel them deep in your soul and call on his name. I love all my supporters so much and I'm praying for every single one of y'all who are going through anything right now that God can deliver you and put his hand on your life. I'm praying for protection, peace, and a sound mind for all. I hope that in this time you can really utilize it and get closer to God because he's waiting. He is waiting there for you. So don't take this time for granted, y'all. I believe in all of y'all and I'm praying for your success. You all mean so much to me. I hope we can grow on this journey. If you guys want more videos like this, more inspirational, spiritual videos, I am here because I just want to put this out to the world. I want it to be known that there is somebody that can heal every pain you've ever felt in your life. I'm telling you, he's a deliverer and he makes you more than a conqueror. So I love you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, of course, if you want more videos like this. And I will be sure to film for y'all. So I love you all and I'll see y'all next video.